good evening afternoon morning everybody now the first couple of clips is going to be of the boat when i first uncovered it and got ready to start cleaning on it and uh i'll show you where it's at now and at the end we'll see some finished knives available finished knives that we need to sell we need to sell <laughs> so i can uh get the legal crap done on did I say that? Legal stuff done on the boat. Get that ready to get put in the water and used. I'll not put it in the water until it is registered, titled, and everything like it's supposed to be. Because it'll be my luck. I'll get the warden that wants to write me a ticket. And that'll cost even more. So, uh, there we go. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I'll see y'all next time. Tell everybody good morning, killer. You ready to go eat breakfast? You ready to eat? Let's go. Come on, you flea-bitten varmint. Come on, let's go eat. Come on. Keep going. Don't stop in front of him. He thinks he's a dog. <laughs> get killer fed and we got to get to work. All right, y'all. The boat has got its first wash job now my main goal is to get all the green algae off of it uh, from sitting but you live in this part of the country that happens on anything now I got it all off needs another wash job the paint needs waxing after it's nice and clean and the aluminum needs polishing which we'll take care of all that later I'm gonna wax the trailer also to keep junk from sticking on it so bad. I did a carpet scrub. Rinsed all the loose stuff off of it. Scrubbed it down with a palm olive dish detergent because that's what I have. And uh, it came pretty clean. It looks pretty good. There's some stains here and there, still in there. And of course it's still damp but um i have some spot remover stain carpet remover uh carpet stain remover that i got for the truck a while back years ago but it still sprays in the can so that should work just fine we'll take care of the stains if it don't it's acceptable like that looks pretty good the front deck anyway now the floor uh, it doesn't look so good right now, but um, once I get under shelter, I'll get it in there with a the vacuum cleaner and uh, vacuum it and scrub it again. Uh, my buddy Greg is checking with his friends that do upholstery work and uh, get me some kind of try to get me a price on what they might charge to fix these. It's not, the vinyl is in good shape. It's not torn. It's dirty, but it's not in, not torn. It's just the thread, which is probably cotton thread, has came loose. So uh, we'll see how all that goes. But um, like I said, I can use it like that if I have to. But I don't want to. I want to go ahead and fix it. Back deck, there's a lot more staining back here. But um, that's all right. We'll take care of that. All that green algae came off the trailer really nice. It all came off the motor. Uh, the motor, of course, will get waxed also. And this right here, I think, is oxidation. I don't know. But if worse comes to worse, I will uh, sand it off and get a new set of decals and paint it. That's not a big deal. Not a priority. This side looks really nice. So there we go. That is the progress for today. There's mommy. Y'all wave at mama. <laughs> we had a birthday party today for the grandson. Well, they did. And even though 
I bought him a brand new super soaker uh, water gun as soon as I walked over there who got squirted with it <laughs> and he got me twice before I got one and uh, got him back but, uh, it was fun it's been a good day and this is where the uh, the green algae was worse on this side over here it was um I scraped some of it off it was an eighth of an inch thick in spots uh, but it's all gone now I'll fix that part here in the next day or two just cut a board and do that won't be much and uh, it's starting to look pretty good I'm really surprised on how well that carpet is. I mean, what good is, it's in good shape. It was just dirty, that's all. And all this, uh, this has all got to be clean still. You know, cut it down with something, Armor All, or I've got some of the uh, STP Son of a Gun. Got Richard Petty's picture on it, so it's got to be good stuff, right? <laughs> the foot control. Buddy Greg was over earlier and we lowered the motor down, fooled with it a little bit. Everything seems to be fine. I just got to learn how to work it, but uh, we'll get there. Uh, still got to check this strap out. May or may not have to replace it. Got to straighten it out. And I know that much, but uh, that was left over from when the cover was on there. But, uh, Anyway, all in all, good progress so far. Once I get down to the shelter, I'll start the uh, maintenance on it. The oil change and the gear oil change and all that kind of stuff. So, And I did check the gas tank. It is a 20-gallon tank. So we may have to take a mortgage out on the house to get uh, a tank of gas in it. But I uh, you know how that goes. But uh, anyway, fold the seat down. It's got a nice little step to go in there. Man, this thing is just absolutely fine. Nicest thing I've ever had. And I'm going to get it back in top shape. And hopefully very soon it will be in the water running down the river. Now the first ride, Mama gets the first ride. She done told me because I may have to borrow some money from her to get the taxes and all paid because I ain't sold no knives. But uh, if I had to borrow money from her, and then I'm on you married guys, y'all know you have to pay. So <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I'll uh, I'll show you what the progress is tomorrow. I did get the uh, the boys was here earlier. They got the Pee Wee boat out of the way. They got the old trailer out of the way. Got a uh, tire change on the trash trailer, which has got to be emptied. And I still got a mess out here, but that's okay. So this is Saturday. I'll pick this up tomorrow, Sunday. And if it don't rain again. Well, all right, let's take a look. The new boat does fit under the shelter. Not as much walking around room uh, that I as I would like, but we'll worry about that later. I'll extend this out a few feet. Let me show you what it looks like so far cleaned up. Still more to do. Carpet came really, really clean. Still got some spots and stains that I'll work on. Uh in the next days and weeks but uh, no big deal nothing's rotted carpet's all in good shape a uh, little cosmetic stuff the stickers coming off but who cares that is the, the lift for the motor trim trail the motor plug trail the motor works fine i plugged it in it's okay uh, the onboard charger works just fine. I plugged it in. Uh, it took about six hours to charge. The battery was lower than I thought they were. But um, 
very pleased so far like i said still some more cleaning now this seat here is in fine shape except for right there and i'm going to sew that up myself i don't i'm not that concerned if it doesn't come out just like a factory job but it's in good shape everywhere else uh, upholsterers want a lot of money to fix things like that and rightly so but i can do it make it work still got to get this out of the windshield still got to put my other fish finder on now i've got the back seats out for right now because they are in the worst shape now especially the driver's seat and i hadn't decided quite yet what how i'm going to fix that i got a good idea but i think using some stuff i already have i'm going to do that myself as well uh got some pretty serious stains back here when i took them out but i will get that cleaned up the middle seat with a step on it it's in fine shape there's nothing wrong with it and uh these are separating here which that's what i'm debating on what to do next with that it's the uh, same way with this seat it's in good shape as if it is the same spot torn there but just unthreaded and i can sew that around i think and this spot here but i can deal with that that's not a big deal uh what else the trailer cleaned up very nicely the uh fixed the tire it had a leak in it and i know it's dark back here but cut a piece of two before and put a carpet on there and fix that thing that was missing and i have yet to clean off the gas tank in this section back here but i'll get to that that cap is laying in there i just took it off for the air to come through now it's almost dry i put a lot of water in it and on it it's clean and uh every time i went to try to get it swapped out and moved under here it rains i mean it has rained every day it's already rained once this morning and it is uh coming again it looks like uh i'm not complaining about the rain it's just it getting irritated every single day to where you can't get out and do nothing the uh, foot control needs a little more cleanup that's no big deal but all in all i am very 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 pleased the strap is dry rotted so i have a new one on order less than twenty dollars for a new one so can't beat that we'll continue on continue on i worked on knives all day yesterday and i will work on uh work on them some more today i have some letters coming a buddy of mine's got an extra pack he's gonna send me and still trying to get the registration taken care of and after this clip somewhere in this video i'll show you i have some available knives still need to get them sold up so we can get this thing buttoned up and if it'll quit raining we'll put it in the water and see what it'll do all right it's been a long day now a long couple of days I'll show y'all again this is what is available master fighter with sheath we're going to trim these down just a little bit one hundred dollars free shipping modified camp knife deer bone handle with sheath look very similar to that last one one hundred dollars free shipping two butter beans deer antler handles they are both the same we'll have she's similar to this one seventy five dollars each five dollars shipping best I can do now I need to sell these I'm telling y'all really really need to sell these so uh jump on them while I got them 
I have five Damascus knives uh, in the works almost finished and a couple of other things almost finished and we'll see those it's going to be next week I'll work on them over the weekend too but it'll be next week before they all get finished up ready to go home but uh, there we go thank y'all for watching thank you for your support and I'll see you next time